We're at the Nissan Move Beyond event where they've unveiled three CBUs that they say they are evaluating for India. And of those three is the X-Trail, which the company says is already here testing and will be the first to launch in India. So let's take a good close look at it and what we can expect. Now at the front, as you can see over here, it is typically Nissan, the grille, uh, something familiar that you will see across their vehicles. Also, as far as the styling elements go, what is currently the trend, you have the DRL elements up atop and the headlights down below. Uh, that's as far as the front goes. Let's move over to the side and the rear and take a good look around. Now at the side, as you can see here, uh, the profile, very and typically SUV-like. It doesn't have the sloping, dipping coupe-like uh, roof line. In fact, it's got a more flat uh, look. And that's what Nissan want to portray with the X-Trail, that it is very much uh, SUV. Now, if you look down here, you'll notice this little badge, which says e-power. That is Nissan's kind of unique uh, technology in that uh, the car you see here is powered by an uh, electric motor which is driven off an internal combustion engine. So the engine pretty much functions as a generator at all times. We'll talk more about it when we get to the engine. Let's head over to the rear. Now at the rear, as you can see, it's got this nice really flared sort of horizontal surface. Gives it a nice muscular stance. Uh, looks pretty neat. They've got the spoiler atop here and the windshield or the windscreen, rear windscreen it's not really sharply raked forward so all uh, you know the the profile if you look at the car it does look typically suv and upright let's get inside the boot and take a look at what the boot space looks like now if you see here you will notice uh, the boot has kind of like a flat flow here and that's because below is where you have the battery. Remember, this is the e-power version, so it has a very large battery. So there are a couple of electrical uh, sort of um, uh, bits down here and below the floor. But what's nice is the floor is flat and you can load it up pretty well. Now over here inside, something that I've seen across the three cars and what I really like is Nissan have buttons and dials. So it is traditional in that sense, but the styling is quite modern. So you've got your large touch screen. In fact, this one is uh, pretty large and very uh, sort of landscape stretched out, uh, popped up over here. You've got some buttons down here below as well. So that's really nice to see. Uh, the IP is a screen. So, uh, you know, you, you have information also that can change uh, over there. Uh, the central tunnel here is quite high but what's really nice is this sort of space down below here uh, you know you have some additional storage space uh, looks quite funky and quite nice and cool uh, the car that you, i spoke about like i told you it is uh, the e-power version so you do have an ev mode here as well so you can drive along it with uh, you know electric power and keep the engine off for as long as possible and as long as conditions are met there's also a button here that says e-pedal now that's basically a one pedal driving mode so uh, you can lift off and there is a very strong sort of regeneration which breaks the vehicle and brings it down to a stop so you can drive along with one pedal only so that's also something that you will have on uh, the car now in terms of specs uh, this car doesn't have actually uh, powered seats um, if you look here it's a manual seat there isn't a sunroof up there but I'm guessing that's more just to do with uh, you know the, the version that they have here to uh, to display when it does launch uh, I expect there will be a whole lot of features on the car now space over here at the rear is quite a lot uh, the seat has been pulled forward uh, though but even then there's there is a lot of space legroom headroom too as you can see is really ample as i was saying you know the roof uh, kind of goes straight doesn't dip down uh, which is quite nice and liberates a lot of headroom for you when it does launch there will be a lot more features and i'm sure we will see a sunroof of some shape and form uh, when it does come to india now coming to the powertrain this one on display here is the e-power it's powered by a 1.5 liter engine as i said functions primarily or rather in all instances as a generator only so it powers the electric motor or the battery it doesn't ever 
drive the wheels. Now, that's something really interesting and innovative. And Nissan, of course, do have other powertrains too. They've got a regular mile, they've got a strong hybrid, they've got four-wheel drive as well. And the good news is that Nissan says they are evaluating all powertrain options right here in India for a launch. So, which ones are you excited about? Which one would you like to see launched in India? Let us know in the comments. And if you've liked this video, of course, give us a thumbs up. And remember, subscribe to the channel.